You might have noticed lately that I have been playing the Isle and I've been streaming it on my channel with Simo. And if you haven't seen these, I do stream it a bit more often than I plan to do it in the future. However, today will be my first ever video about this game. And well, yeah, I'm going to be telling you everything that we know so far about Aviama's Update 3. And yes, I know I pronounce that terribly and I will definitely keep on saying it like that. But we'll be telling you everything you need to know about this update so far, everything we know about the update so far and yeah before i do get into this video i just want to say if you are new feel free to like and subscribe we just hit 3,000 subscribers so now we are going to be aiming for 4,000 subscribers and hopefully we could get there before my birthday anyways guys if you are new feel free to join the discord server as well and let's get right into this brand new the isle video <laughs> So what is coming in update 3? So we have three things that are coming or will be brought into this update. This update is known for the flyers and aquatics. So the theme of this update will be about that. And um, well, we're going to be getting two new playables and some new mechanics for the game. And firstly, we get the mechanic and that is the schooling fish, which is a very nice addition to Aviama because currently, as far as I know, there are no fish in Aviama or in Aviama's current state. There are no fish. So it's nice to add fish to the game and then bring in that they are schooling as well, which will add even more fun to it. This is nice because the playables in this update will be playables that will be fishing and I'll be talking about these playable in a minute and you probably already know about them these fish anyways will startled by the presence of movement but aquatic and semi-aquatic animals dinosaurs or creatures will have a lower chance of disturbing them. To add to this, juvenile semi-aquatic and aquatic creatures will be more adapt hunting fish because that's what their primary food source will be because it's overall safer for them to do so. Anyways, Let's get right into the playables. Firstly, we have Dino Sucus, the mega croc of this update, or the big bad croc. I'm pretty sure we are all excited for this, and this is probably the most exciting thing from the Avema update. However, no, that is a lie. There is one thing that I think everybody is more excited for in this update. I feel like when this update drops, like we saw with update 2, there'll be one creature that will stand out. It'll either be Dino Sucus that will be on every server, everyone's playing as it, or it'll be the next one, which could be very interesting if everybody is playing as it, because they'll be very hard to kill. This is Pteranodon, the first flyer that we will be getting in the aisle, which is going to be really cool. I'm excited for it. I'm pretty sure Simo said he's excited for it. So yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see this boy in the game. This will be the, well, flying spectator mode because it's currently the only thing that can fly. And if you're in the air for a long time later down the line, you're not going to be coming down often. You're just going to stay around the rivers and you can watch the dino circus attack everything and just be like, ah, life's good. So pretty much that's what we are getting in the update. And I've talked about that, but but there is one thing that I do want to talk about as well. And we're going to talk about that in the next part. And that's what we know is being completed so far. I'll be showcasing some pictures and some other stuff. But yeah, firstly, I have a question for you. However, what are you most excited for from this update? Is it Dino Sucus or Pteranodon? Or are you that weird person who's sat in the corner hugging the fish saying, oh, it's all good. These are my fishies. Well, let me know in the comments below which one you are the most excited for. And anyways... Let's get right into the next part. So now let's talk about what we know and, well, what is actually going to be shown so far from this update. By the way, I just want to quickly mention, when do you guys think this update will be released? I'm thinking it will be released sometime before Christmas in the next week. But if not, it will be released in the first week of January because, well, we don't want to pressure the developers up until Christmas. You know, if they want to give us a Christmas holidays release, they can. It's up to them. But anyways, yeah, let me know when you think this will be released in the comments down below. But yeah, let's get into, firstly, we're going to be talking about the pteranodon and what we know about it so far so we have seen some pictures of the pteranodon and a bunch of awesome screenshots of this big boy in action this flyer chilling in the sky and just looking around and we also have some pictures of what the elder pteranodon will look like or the model because one of the developers shown the elder models for stegosaurus pachycephalosaurus and pteranodon i'll be showing you the one for pteranodon but i probably will have put the other ones on the screen now anyway so we have some very cool screenshots of pteranodon in action Action, but we also have four calls for the Pteranodon. Three of them came in the back, and then I just found another one just then, so I'll put that on the screen as well. Here they are, so you can listen to them. Yeah. 
What you heard is one call that is unnamed, adult broadcast, adult attract, and adult threaten calls. The final one and the first one sound terrifying, but the second one out of the three that are shown first is interesting. Let me know which call is your favorite in the comments down below. We're gonna get in the, into the next part, and this is actually talking about what is done for Pteranodon regarding the Trello board and the development of this creature. So, firstly, the model is 100% done. Textures are 50% done. All we need are default skins for the female to be finished. The rig is 100% done. Animations are 65% done. All we need is sniff, sleep, nest, status effect, carried, and death. Sounds are 100% done as well. Mechanics are 27% done. All we need is stat regen, basic combat, special ability, eating, and drinking, wallow, rest, ragdoll and status effect quality assurance hasn't been gone through yet let's move into the dino Sucus now shall we because we have some nice pictures to talk about that as well we don't have any calls for you to show you for the dino Sucus so far or that i could dig up so firstly we have an awesome picture of dino on a rock with the night sky in the background the night sky will be changed when night vision comes into play it'll become a lot darker and it'll go back to how it is on legacy which is interesting now we also have a picture of it under the swamp or the swampy waters with pteranodons flying above this gives us some kind of depth perception here there must be some very deep areas in the map that i haven't stumbled across yet please let me know because when i'm dino Sucus, i do want to go and find out where these are we also have it lurking in the swamp and one picture of it stalking a utah raptor i feel bad for that utah raptor because i'm pretty sure after that picture was taken that utah raptor was in the in the mouth of hell it was probably dead within a couple seconds. Let's be real here. Now, for pictures, I'm pretty sure that's all of Dino Sucus. Feel free to let me know if I've missed anything in the comments below. But yeah, let's get into the Trello board regarding what has been done with Dino Sucus. So firstly, the model is 100% done with textures being 50% done. The same case as the Pteranodon. Rig is 100% done as well. Animations are 41% done. We are awaiting locomotion, sniff, wallowing, sleep, nest, hit reactions, status effects, dragged, carried, and death. Sounds are 100% done, but we do not have anything to show of them so far. Mechanics are only 9% done. Everything apart from vocals still needs some work. And quality assurance hasn't even been started yet. So that is in terms of development for the Dino Sucus so far regarding it for Avima's update 3 and its implementing implementation to that update. Guys, feel free to let me know what you think about Avima update 3. Are you excited about this update? What did you think about this video? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Now, I just want to say a quick apology if I miss uh, messed anything up with this. I'm very new to playing the aisle. I've only started playing it recently after taking a couple years break of it and i've only started streaming it recently but do you want to see more videos about updates to the aisle because i will do that like i do with path of titans and historia and other dinosaur games that are in the works i'll be able to feed you all the updates and everything regarding that from a neutral point of view also channel memberships are now open on this channel i know this is something i don't talk about but you know i might as well add a call to action to this if you do want to join this is it on the screen now you get some cool emojis and there'll be more coming but other than that yeah if you do want to join and you want to subscribe to the channel subscribing is free feel free to do so if you want to see more awesome content like this and other than that i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace